Hi there, YouTube. Did you miss me? Of course you didn't. You know, YTPC is, you know, we have probably oversaturated the, the YouTube with pipe videos, so. There's lots of stuff for everyone right now. But anyways, I'm back yet again. I'm smoking my Dagnar Long Ants. Haven't smoked that, that one in a while. And in it, I'm smoking some, one of the samples, Cornell and Deal pirate cake. My first time smoking it, actually. No. I'm enjoying the quiet evening. I even closed the window. You know, there's. Uh, I think. Uh, some form of mental disorder when a, when a person believes that everything in in the world revolves around him, and. The final stage of that disorder is a person thinking that everything, basically everything besides himself, is an illusion, product of his mind. Either I'm developing this disorder or the universe is trying to tell me something, because <laughs> I was quite unsuccessful in smoking outside and lunting lately. I went out today, for example, took my castle Russian made mortar pipe for a walk and I go out no wind, everything is absolutely still. Just a gentle snow, snowfall. But the moment I light my pipe, the wind picks up and it blows straight into my face. No matter where I go, I was going in one direction yesterday, the opposite direction today. It's still in my face. And I can't taste anything in the pipe. It's just ash and something burning. I wasn't able actually to smoke at home because uh, all of my family went to, through the nasty feet of throat ache. I still think I'm not fully cured because I'm gurgling my medicine and then I lay it off for a couple of days and it comes back and I gurgle again and I cannot fully conquer it. But at least I'm not my kids are not coughing in their sleep and my wife is not bugging me do not smoke because it will irritate them further but anyways how's my life those of you who remember my last videos might remember that I changed my work 
place, got another job, and so far so good. Knock on Briar, so far so good. Actually, these are my, I think, last two. last two weeks of my probation period and my boss uh, actually left it's been a week without him on my own i think i'm managing okay no complaints from anyone just the usual complaints we are Turns out we are the most anal division in the whole legal department and everybody's can kinda looks down upon us. Here are two guys who are, you know, just getting anal with documents and checking the you know every comma, every uppercase letter. While we are pulling the weight. You know, <laughs> and I'm looking at the guys thinking, people, you aren't pulling shit. <laughs> Compared to what I saw in the last, you know, at my last workplace. <laughs> this place is more, it's a lot more calm. Calm is the right word. No one is rushing, no one is coming to you with the documents and standing in front of you with the documents and standing behind your back while you're working on the document. No emails with this must be done today and all that jazz. That comes up, that came up, used to come up at the previous place. Everything is kind of slow and measured. And I love that so much. <laughs> When you get a 30 page document and no one's asking about this document for two weeks and that they say it will probably will probably need it in April I used to get documents like that with comments, this must be done today. And these documents used to arrive after lunch. This must be done today. <laughs> so I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> this new place even has a cafeteria which actually serves real food so I'm somewhat stabilized in my life I've somewhat stabilized my financial position I've climbed out of the dead hole I put myself into uh, although I fell a little bit because I had to buy airplane we me and my wife had to buy airplane tickets to go to Vakin open air in in the beginning of August so that put us back quite a bit but I hope to 
cover that next month in April. I will cover my debt. And that'll be fine. I'll be finally more or less stabilized. You know, it's bizarre by this year buying the tickets. There's a separate story for another video. Buying airplane tickets, that's a story for another video. By the way, this new place, I actually, they have a smoking lounge on the ground floor. And I saw ashtrays in the briefing rooms with ash in them. So they are used, people are smoking. Haven't tried the lounge so far because I, I don't want to stay up, stay after work, after hours to try it out and you know, a pipe is not exactly a thing you will go to a smoke break with. But the, you know, the idea itself that the the employer is tolerates smokers that's nice for a change no one seems to like us actually <laughs> uh, as of now lately Yeah, enough of my life updates. I'm I'm good. And I'm getting better. You know, I'm managed to get a guitar to a good tech slash luthier. Got it fixed, at least partially. Took it away yesterday brought him another one <laughs> time to get these things sorted because there's what's the point of having a collection of guitars when you when all of them are broken You know, my pipe journey has been kind of stagnant of late, but I I managed to try out the Bertram and it performed like an absolute champ as I tried it in a quite not inhospitable, quite a bad weather. It was very damp and cold and uh, by the end of I was smoking outside, lunting, and by the end of the session I, I was just literally pouring water out. But still it smoked fine. So there's that. I also give this Castle Morta pipe a couple of tries. It performs great. Uh, everything's fine. It's not, it's not whistling when there's tobacco in it. As as far as the taste goes, uh, the jury is still out, I think. I, I need to smoke it inside. Either I'm sensing things just, or it has some effect on the taste of the tobacco. But I, I'm not sure, I need to try it more. Maybe because all mortars, uh, mortar is naturally, I think, gray or grayish brown or something like that so they are usually stained and inexpensive pipes tend to sometimes the stain affects the taste so i must check on that yeah there's that i 
showed you this sample. I haven't tried Haunted Bookshop yet. I did try the third sample, this one, which I, if you remember, I couldn't remember <laughs> when I was opening the samples, I couldn't remember what it was. And I said to my on camera that it must be an aromatic, it smells nice. It still smells nice, but it's definitely not an aromatic. Turns out this is um, a match of Dunhill early morning pipe <laughs> made by Sutliff. So this is definitely not an aromatic and my palette is com a complete mess. <laughs> but I've smoked a couple of bowls and it's nice. It's really nice. It's <laughs> what it says on the tin. It's if I don't know if, if it's close to the original. I haven't tried the original, but it's yeah, an everyday smoke for sure. And this one, hmm, that's you know quite another animal. You know, people are loving pirate cake. Will it suit me? I don't know. I cannot judge, you know, by from a single bowl. But so far, at least it smokes nice. Quite bold. That's not a, a review. I will do a separate, probably review of each, or at least impressions videos on each of the tobaccos. There's also a tin of Presbyterian mixture I haven't tried yet. Squadron leader, there's a sample of that. So <laughs> you'll be seeing me <laughs> in quite a few videos. <laughs> Hmm. I also turned 35 in February. And my friends presented me with a, you know, crown jewel of a pipe. I'll do a separate video. I haven't tried it, haven't smoked it yet. But it's, well, just wait and see. I thought it will be like sitting near the campfire. It's not exactly that. Interesting. Very interesting. But anyways. 20 minutes already. Almost 20. 18. <laughs> I'll bet it stop the recording and upload it. So my life update into words, everything's fine. I'm okay. The family's fine, the kids are fine. My instruments are fine. My pipes are fine when using them. I miss you people. <laughs> hmm. By the way, another thing happened quite unexpected. I a guy contacted me on Instagram saying I we should meet. We should meet. Uh, I saw your channel. I like your videos. It's amazing and he's that's he's a guy from the US who moved to Russia. So here's somewhere out there in Moscow. And he wants to get acquainted, I guess. I said, yeah, fine. We talked for you know an evening and then I disappeared because I'm uh, an idiot. 
So I need to need to catch up with the guy. And there's the first time someone is approaching me through my YouTube channel. That's quite unexpected. I'll document that somehow. But so far, I wish you people a great weekend. I probably won't post anything on weekend. Or maybe I will. I don't know. So, have a nice weekend. Have a bowl or two or five. I'm sending my regards and I'll be seeing you people in another one of my videos. So far, life is good. Hope it'll stay that way. <laughs> See you people.